They're all around us, and they're not going away. Some ignore them, some study them, but we all see them. And a designer's first billboard is quite an achievement. I'm going to show you how to make them. When you first get the project, you'll want to inquire as to where the billboard will be going. Will it be along the interstate, on a country road, in the city? This can help you determine the amount and size of the info you want on it. For the technical part, you'll want to check out with your vendor on the specs. Some require different specs than others but it usually all equates to DPI versus scaling. For example, this one I'll be making will be 24 foot wide by 12 foot high. And I'm going to scale it one inch for every three feet. The width is 24 feet, so that equates to eight inches. The 12 foot height equates to four inches. The resolution may vary. This vendor asked for 300. I've seen them for as high as 600. And for this one, you're going to want to make it CMYK color mode. There are rules you should follow, such as keep the text to as little as possible. I've heard seven words or less. I also sometimes have a problem with phone numbers on billboards. Who has the time to type a phone number in or can memorize one when driving? We don't want too much text or information and we want it to be legible and memorable. This billboard will be for collegiate apparel for a website, iugear.com. I already have in my mind an idea of what I want it to look like. I'm going to try to make this clean, simple, and fast. I'm going to bring in a photo of my model, which we took a few months ago. Scalar. Now I have in my mind this split screen design which is kind of a trendy look lately. I'm going to make this square red from her shirt sample. You could also use a Pantone here if you think the brand requires it. I'm going to put in my call to action. Fix the kerning. With this photo, I'm realizing something cool. I can lead the viewer with their arms as they're pointing to the info here. I'm also going to add some text on the reverse side for some balance. I do like this negative space, but I want to bring in the IU logo as it's very recognizable in the city this billboard will be in and draw some attention. I think I want it on a red tag. So I'll reverse the logo color. Fix the spacing. Line it up with this grid. I think it looks clean, but I want to add something interesting. This photo of the sample gates is an icon on the IU campus. I'm going to retouch it a bit and play with the blending and hue and saturation until I like it. Clean this up. I'm noticing it'd be cool if I could get these columns like they're pointing at the website. It's 
still needs a bit more. I'm going to add some text. Shop at. And in black. Copy this for the left side. Indiana. Now just move them over just to break the grid. I'm liking this a lot. I want to see it in a mock. Once I have a mock, I'll have an idea of what it'll look like in the real world. I can also use this to pitch to my managers so they'll have the vision too. Distort to fit. Add a small gradient to look realistic. Now that I see it, I do like it a lot. I may come in and tweak the text to make it bigger, but again, this all depends on where the billboard will be located. Will it be on the interstate where cars are flying by 80 miles an hour, or will it be in the city at a stoplight? Now if I needed to make a digital version of this billboard, very simple. Scale everything down to 72 dpi RGB collar, and you're done. 